This song is in standard tuning, and there are three progressions with the outro being a slight variation on the chorus. The chords and the structure are shown right here. Here's a strum pattern I would suggest for that intro. It basically goes like this. It's down, 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 up, up, down, up. Repeat, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And you repeat the pattern there on the downbeat. Now you'll notice I'm having that kind of uh, transition there where I'm not actually strumming anything. That's normal when you're uh, playing the guitar. So that frees it up so you don't have to jump from chord to chord directly, okay? But here's that pattern a little slower. Down, 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 up, up, down, up. And then you repeat. So play it slowly and then speed it up and you'll get there. I'm going to play the intro, which basically alternates back and forth from E to A, which is the same as the verse progression. Uh, it's just played up here and there are a few different voicings, but here's how I hear it and how I like to play it. I'll show you some variations on the chords after that. into the verse. You'll notice my strumming changes a little bit when I sing, um, but it covers the beats roughly. So you kind of want to play with this and do what's comfortable for you, okay? There are a few different voicings you can play. So I was playing this E bar chord. I think what they actually play is in E7, okay? So you could do that. That's harder, but it may sound better for you if you can handle it. Or you can just play an open E, right? Like a... Um, so those are the three E's you can play. The A's you can play an open A, as I just alluded to there, if that's easier. I personally like this A voicing, okay, and then throw that pinky in every now and again to kind of play around with it, with the strums. Or there's this much harder voicing, but I believe that's uh, the voicing they play. You may have to wrap your thumb around to mute the E string or kind of have a, have a drone in there, but be careful of your pinky kind of mashing that top uh, E string. That's the most dangerous and challenging to play, but just mess around with it and see what sounds right and feels good for you. Here's the verse with vocals. You'll notice I play it down in the open E and A positions, but you could do it in the higher voicing if you like. It's your choice, okay? Sheets of empty canvas Untouched repeat that pattern, okay? That's it. It's played twice the first time it's sung, and again only once the second time it's sung. You'll notice I change up that strumming pattern a little bit from the intro, um, because singing and playing can be difficult, but here's how I suggest doing it, okay? It's So one more time, slower. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you repeat it, okay? And there's kind of some beats in the middle. You just got to get used to the rhythm, but just play it slowly to get that mechanic down and then speed it up.
here's the pre-chorus. I use the same strumming pattern as the verse, but technically just plays open chords with a distorted guitar on the C and the E minor, and it's the drums that drive it, but when you're a solo acoustic musician, you gotta keep strumming. Okay, here it is. Ooh, and all I thought it was right into the chorus. Now you'll notice I change up the strumming. Uh, sometimes you just kind of keep the pulse going and you go with it because singing and playing can be a little difficult, but just practice this slowly and you'll get there. Here's the strumming pattern for the chorus. Slow, three, four, down. So play it slowly and then speed it up and use a metronome and you'll get there. You'll also notice on that last up, I'm actually just doing open strings to help me transition to the chords, okay? Here's the chorus and the real trick is that the downbeat is actually on the end of four instead of one, so it's earlier than you think, which is what makes it really cool. Okay, the trick is playing it. So I'm gonna use a metronome and then I'm gonna break it down slower, okay? Three, four. and you're right back into the verse, okay? Now, that second verse that's sung is done just once, as noted earlier, okay? And again, on the chorus, the trick is really getting the strumming pattern down and anticipating the beat on the end of four. Here's the outro progression, which is the same as the chorus progression, but it kind of backs it up and changes the pattern. So I'm just gonna play it, and then we'll note where that change is. Again, remember it's the same strumming pattern where you're doing it on the end of four in anticipation, okay? So here it is. Now my bitter hands Create a broken glass What was everything? All the pictures here All been washed in black Tattooed everything All the love come back Turned my world to black Tattooed everything All So it backed it up from that C to the D, and then from there it just does D, C, E minor. D, C, E minor. All the way for as long as you want, as long as the crowd wants to sing it or your band wants to play it. So just note that transition, and then you've got this. That's Black. It's just a classic sing-along and rock tune, and you can jam as long as you want in that one, okay? The chords are pretty easy. The trick is really the strumming pattern, especially on the intro, and then also in the chorus and the outro, getting that anticipated beat. And if you're playing with a band, you gotta really tighten that up, okay? So, have fun with this one. You've got this, and rock on. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that.